Match number 20 in CPL 2020 shall feature two teams that haven't had the nicest of tournaments. It's the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots against the Guyana Amazon Warriors. Let's build our fantasy team then on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Cricket and Four. Right, let's go to our pro tip for this one, prepared by uh, Gaurav Sundararaman and uh, get his views on this game. And the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots that have been languishing at the bottom of the table for a large part of this tournament are finding it difficult to win matches. They're too dependent on Evan Lewis and these sort of pitches aren't suiting aggressive batsmen. Both teams have plenty of them and therefore we're uh, backing the spinners. Once again, something that you do like to do and we have some pretty strong spinners on display for this one, GS. Yes, and the fact that uh, uh, Evan Lewis actually uh, was sent down the order in the previous game which St. Kitts played, uh, which was uh, pretty bizarre. They asked him to play the finishers role considering they didn't have uh, any middle order batsmen and that still failed. Uh, St. Kitts still lost the match. So, uh, watch out for where uh, Evan Lewis is likely to bat as well. Uh, that's important when you pick him. So, uh, again, back the spinners uh, and hope that they uh, uh, run right against St. Kitts. That's how uh, you go about picking this team. All right, let's go to our team then. Evan Lewis may not feature in captain and vice captain uh, recommendations given uh, where uh, they, he's been moved up and down the order, like GS points out. Before I go to the team, quick reminder on the My11 Circle Fancy app 100 credits for every user to pick their fancy team. Four categories of players to pick from batsmen, bowlers, wicket keepers, and all rounders. You've got uh, uh, every player's individual credit value listed on the app, and you can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any particular contest. Among our top picks, Imran Tahir features as always. He has featured very regularly uh, whenever the Guyana Amazon Warriors have uh, been playing in our fantasy selections. And uh, Tahir, uh, if you look at the average for the uh, Patriots batsmen against spin, it is considerably lower than against his conditions, getting harder and harder for batsmen. And GS points out that this is a Patriots lineup that has struggled with the bat. It makes sense to back someone like Tahir, who's already got 11 wickets at an average of 14 and an economy of 6.41. Kimo Paul is there as well. The last time these two teams met, Kimo Paul managed to pick up uh, four wickets for the Warriors. His change of pace and the fact that he is an all-round option as well, to a degree, he makes him a decent vice-captain pick. He's got seven wickets at an economy of 6.7 so far in the tournament. Looking at our top picks, Evan Lewis does feature wherever he may bat. He's still among our top picks, looking at how reliant uh, the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots are on the left-hander. He has managed a few good innings. He's got 182 runs at a strike rate of 134, just about there. Shimron Hetemeyer as well joins uh, Evan Lewis, another left-hander among our top picks. Now, Hetemeyer, after three failures in a row, has managed to score a 26 in the previous game against the Knight Riders. With Nicholas Puran, Brandon King and Ross Taylor not striking form, uh, it does look like uh, the dependency on Hetmeyer will be immense for the Guyana Amazon Warriors. Hetmeyer is among the leading run-getters for the Warriors, scoring 169 runs so far in the tournament. Our topics, Imran Tahir, Kimo Paul, Evan Lewis and Shimron Hetmeyer. Thoughts on that, Gaurav? Yeah, it's again, uh, it's very hard to pick these batsmen uh, all the time and we, we really don't know when they're going to really succeed and when they're going to fail. Uh, but the fact is these players play spin well, Hetmeyer play spin very well and you need uh, guys to graft out there and uh, play a long inning. So, uh, that's why I've just gone for the uh, most uh, tried and tested batsmen. Yeah, it can get hard to pick players from teams that aren't doing well in the tournament but you always have players in form individually. So, perhaps those are the ones that you go for in this uh, fantasy. Let's move to our value picks. Ben Dunk features has featured regularly whenever the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots uh, are in action. And uh, he is the second highest run getter for his side, 125 runs from six matches. Strike rate 114, not uh, by Ben Dunk's uh, uh, T20 standards, you think, but you know how hard it's been for uh, some of these uh, big hitters. Brandon King is there, very poor start to the tournament, but he is a player who needs to perform if the Warriors still have hopes of making the playoffs. And his start in the power play could help his side uh, get an above pass score. And the fact that he bats up the order is someone that we're backing Brandon King among our value picks. Ben Duncan, Brandon King in our value picks. Looking at our full team then, we've got uh, Nicholas Puran as well, along with Ben Dunk as keeper options. Brandon King, Shimron Hetmeyer and Evan Lewis. Uh, Kimo Paul, who's our vice-captain choice. Sohil Tandir and Chris Green. Imran Tahir as captain choice. Sheldon Cottrell and Naveen Ulhaq, who I've pretty much liked uh, in this tournament. GS, any final words before uh, we sign off? 
Yeah, just as the tournament keeps uh, progressing, just focus on the bowling options as much as possible. Uh, really, we don't know which batsman is going to score, and the fact that even if the batsmen score, they're not it's very rarely you will see a Pollard kind of innings where somebody actually scores 70 of 30 balls in these conditions. So, uh, continue to back the bowlers and uh, hope they make many. Thank you so much, Gaurav. More from US CPL 2020 moves on. Make sure you look uh, at the playing 11s. The last tip for you uh, and look at the final teams before confirming your fancy lineup. We'll be back with plenty more insights and data for you to help you pick your fancy team on My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info.